Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel today. I'm back with that series I told you I was going to bring. I said I was going to bring a brief series about the decision-making process, making choices, because we're confronted with it every single day of our lives. In this particular video, this introduction is the introduction video segment. And, and one of the most important things that we're going to do every day is make decisions. And how things are today, the way the world is today, and I, I know I say that a lot, we got to be so careful about how we choose, don't we? So that's why I want to talk about making decisions and choosing. Making decisions and choosing starts as soon as we get up in the morning. As soon as we arise out of the bed, we're confronted with decisions. Get up now. Don't get up now. Sleep in, don't sleep in. Coffee, tea, cream, no cream. Go to work today, not going to work today. Take a shower, not going to take a shower today. So, you know, as soon as our feet hit the floor in the morning, we're right into that decision-making process. Right there having to make choices. We spend our entire lives making some type of decision every single day decisions and choices. Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. Let's get right into this series. And we're talking about making decisions and choices. And today's title, you have a choice. I'll be looking down at my notes uh, a little bit. I'm, my, my husband he can speak, he can preach, he can teach without having any notes. He just is able to flow effortless, effortlessly, yes, effortlessly without notes. He doesn't do that on a regular basis, but he's pretty good at just speaking off the cuff without notes. I, I don't like to just chance it. So I do have notes today and I'll be looking back and forth at my notes so that I don't babble. So we're talking about you have a choice. And so I want to go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. Let's flip over into the Old Testament. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. And I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. And it reads like this. I call heaven and earth uh, as witnesses today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. So a little background about this particular uh, scripture, about this particular verse. Now, in this verse, God is speaking through Moses. It's Moses that's talking. And God is speaking through Moses to the nation of, of Israel, to the children of Israel. The covenant between God and the nation of Israel has been renewed in the land of Moab. And so now, so now Moses is talking to them regarding this renewed covenant. And in this particular scripture, he's talking to them about returning to the Lord and obeying him and loving him with all of their heart. And so we pick it up right there. I want to read it again very quickly. It says that this is Moses talking to the children of Israel, to the nation of Israel. I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. So what are we looking at here? We see that the children of Israel is being given the opportunity to choose, to choose life or death. They have a decision to make like we do every day. Now recognize this, that even though the covenant exists like it does for you and I, we're under the new covenant Recognize this, that even though this renewed covenant exists, they have free will. They don't have to accept this covenant. They don't have to do what is necessary to be blessed. They don't have to. See, you see, it's the, the, the scripture says, choose. So see, there's free will involved here. They get to pick. 
They get to make this decision. They don't have to choose to do what's necessary to walk in the blessings of God, even though God wants to bless them, even though God wants to bless us. We don't have to obey. We don't have to heed. That's going to be our choice. That's going to be our decision. And a decision is a choice that you make about something after thinking about it. It's coming to a, a resolution, a conclusion, a choice. That's decision. Now, a choice is selecting or making a decision when presented with two or more possibilities. I'll say that again. A choice is when we are selecting or making a decision when presented with two or more possibilities. And that's what we see happening here with the children of Israel. They're presented with two or more possibilities. Choose life and death. Cho choose one. You got to choose one. So uh, a, a choice is we're being presented with different things from which we can choose. Amen. For instance, I can, I can make a decision. Let's see. I can make this uh, video. I can work on making this video last only 10 minutes. Or I can make it where it lasts 15 minutes. Now, I've got a choice. 10 minutes or 15 minutes. That's the choice that I am presented with. That's the two possibilities. That's my options. And so now I have to make a decision because I have been presented with a choice. Amen. So our decisions, now here's the serious thing about this. Our decisions and choices can affect the way we live the rest of our life. Amen. Our decisions and choices, we've our, we're grown folk. We've already seen that. We've already seen that how we choose and the decisions we make can follow us for the rest of our lives. And we can bring sorrow on ourselves just by choosing wrong. That's why, you know, uh, decision-making process, some things we can be flipping about when we're choosing, uh, some things we can be flipping about in the decision-making process, but there are some things that we have to take the time and actually decide, actually look at that, actually give that some serious thought before we come to a resolution, before we come to a conclusion. Amen. Like this is what the children of Israel is faced with. This is not a flippant decision to make. This is a serious decision. So looking at uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse uh, 19, Moses is saying, he's speaking on the behalf of God. And he's saying, I have set before you life and death. Two possibilities here. Two life-changing, huge choices to make. Huge. This is huge. This is life-changing. This is going to set the course of their, their life, the course of their path for the rest of their life. They, they have a decision. A decision has to be made. They've got to think about this. They've got to think about this. I know we probably say, what is there to think about? How, how is that a choice? I mean, you're going to choose life, right? We, we would say that that's how that works or that's how that should be, but then we would be jumping to conclusions. So we they, they have to think about this. And so they got to make decisions. And when we make decisions, this is why I say we jump into conclusions when we say the decision is clear. You know, we see which one that we should choose. But when we're making decisions, we're making them based on our preferences, based on things that we like, based on things that we want, based on things, based on things that we're partial to. We make decisions based on things that we're fond of. And unfortunately, a lot of times we make decisions just based on our emotions, how we feel about it. And Emotions are fleeting. How we feel about it in that moment doesn't mean that's how we're going to feel about it when we wake up in the morning or next week. Oh, it's dangerous. It's so dangerous. And, and I know this from my own life experiences. And I've made decisions based on emotions. Oh boy, 
I've made decisions uh, because I was angry. Or I've made decisions when I was happy. Oh, I, I, I've made money decisions when I was happy and feeling good about life, feeling good about my finances and went out and did some things based on emotions because I was feeling good about where I was in life, feeling good about my financial status, went out and purchased some things and did. Those are all the emotional decisions. I mean, you know, and I'm going to say it like this. Those emotional decisions, baby, they can come back and bite you in the butt. So those can be some of the most dangerous decisions to make when we're basing it on how we feel at the time. So, you know, they've got to, they've got to choose. You know, they can't have life and death. Now, can they? They can't choose both life and death. They're a complete opposite of each other. So they've got to choose. They have to make a choice. So they're going to have to choose one. After thinking about it, because we get to, you know, they, they, we, we get to think about this now. Uh, uh, the word of God says, whosoever will let him come. So no arms are being twisted in this scenario. They get to decide which way they want to go. So they're going to make a decision and then they've got to choose which way they're going to flow with this. Amen. So let's think about this for a moment. What comes first? Decision or choice? Which one of them is first? Hmm. Well, now let's look at it. Here in this scripture, the choice is clearly identified as. Remember, a choice is two or more possibilities, two or more options. So in this scripture, um, the choice is identified as life or death. That's the choice. Now we make the decision after looking at these options. Hmm. Life or death. That's the options. And you get to choose mm, which one. So while you're mm, and, and looking and thinking, 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 you're coming to a conclusion. You're making a, a coming to a resolution. You're making a decision. And this is a serious decision. It's not one of those simple decisions like you pull up at Wendy's drive through and you're deciding hamburger or cheeseburger. Little Wendy's burger or the Baconator, fries today, or no fries. That, 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 those are small decisions, but they're still decisions because when you pull up in that Wendy's drive-thru, you're presented with more than two possibilities, more than two options. So you get to pick and choose. That's making a choice. Decisions, decisions, decisions all over the place. Sin, don't sin. That's your choice. It's actually your choice. You can choose not to sin in that moment. You can choose not to sin in that situation. Or you can choose, oh, I'm going to do it. I, I know it's sin. I know it goes against the scriptures. I know it goes against God. But this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do right now. So I'm going to do it. Even though you know that it's sin, you just made a choice. Sin or don't sin. And when you say, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do it, I know it's sin. I'll repent for it later. You chose. You chose to sin in that situation. Amen. Little flippant decisions all day long. We're making decisions all day. Eat that slice of cake or should I eat the apple? Eat that slice of cake or it's a bowl of grapes right there. I shouldn't eat the grapes, but I really want that cake. So you got to decide, you know. Which one are you going to flow with? The cake? Or are you going to eat the bowl of grapes? Or are you going to choose the apple? Options. You got options before you. So we weigh our options all the time, don't we? Simple things and some things not so simple. So as I'm closing this down in this video, let's, let's looking at Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse uh, 19. He says, therefore... Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. He tells us right in, right in the scripture, which one is the better choice, doesn't he? He lays it out right before us. He tells us, look, 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 choose this right here, choose this right here, choose life so that you and your descendants may live. I'm going to leave that hanger right there. I'm going to pick that up in the next video. Uh, until next time, remember this. A decision is determined as a conclusion 
after you've given it some thought, after you've reflected on it, and a choice is selecting when presented with two or more options. So remember that because even as you view this video or after you view this video, before you view this video, you came into some type of decision-making process. You, you were, you were um, confronted with something that you had to make a decision about. It, it might have been something small and easy, but it might have been something life-altering, like this particular scripture here. So you want to make sure you make the right decision, choose right and not wrong. Talk to you next time. God bless you.